Talk Podcast, episode 89. And I do want to make a public service announcement. I'm harmless as fuck. <laughs> but I have a special guest in the building. Uh, this is your third time on the podcast, believe yeah, it or not. What do, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> third time. I, I, did you think you would be on three times the first, like, at the first time? Yep. You thought so? Yeah, it just took some time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, like, your thought, time. like, before we actually ever did the first episode, do you think that you would ever have done three at this point? Yeah, because uh, it was an enjoyable experience. Plus, I like to talk. And two, um, it's easy. It's, it's not pressure put on it, you know, so. I feel that. So we we don't really have too many topics, uh, especially because my phone that has them is over there, and uh, we're gonna freestyle a little bit. But I did want to ask you or talk about the giving people advice thing. That I tried to find the meme that I did post. I don't know exactly what it said, but essentially it was along the lines of saying, uh, "I'm done giving fucking people advice, whether it's cooking or podcasting, because it really is y'all weird. Y'all weird <laughs> as fuck." <laughs> <laughs> like, if I ask somebody for advice and they give me something, I take that and I run with it. I think a lot of times people take advice as if I'm supposed to tell them exactly what I did and how it worked for me, and then this is how they should be doing it. But one thing about podcasting particularly is it's so unique to your you as a person that it's almost impossible for me to tell you what your podcast will look like. Like, it's impossible. Like, I don't have your same thoughts. I don't like the same things. Like... I would never go into someone's setup and be like, all right, it needs to be this, it needs to look like this, because like my shit's transitioned like 45 times. Right, <laughs> right. I mean, you just go along with stages on where you're at. Um, and too, like your topics can switch up, you know, by the day, because you know, you have some shows out there that base, that solely like talk about relationships. You got some that uh -huh. just talk about entertainment. Um, the list goes on and on, so I'm with you. I'm really just on some, like, you're going to have to figure out your own way type shit. I'm not about to give my give any <laughs> advice to nobody because it's really in vain, you know? Yeah. It's a lot of copycat-ass people out here, you know. Um, no, it is. Like, it people is. don't have their own identity no more, yeah. and it's so sad. Which is one of the reasons why the podcast is what it is now because, like, I don't come here talking about the exact same thing that every celebrity talked about the whole goddamn day. Like, I don't give a fuck about celebrities' life unless they're paying me to give a fuck. Outside of that, I don't care. I don't <laughs> care about reality TV. I don't care about politics. I don't care about nothing that's not directly affecting Calvin Anthony. Outside of that, like, figure it out. You can figure it out. You can figure out setting up a podcast. You can figure that shit out. When I started the podcast, there wasn't. you couldn't even get equipment at fucking Walmart. Like, you can go to Walmart right now and get fucking mics, lapel mics. You can go to Five Below and get podcast equipment now. For real? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, it, it's something that you really can do if you want to do it. Now, if you want to do it because you just want to talk shit about people, okay, you just go talk shit about people. I don't allow do that, that shit. You can do that on your phone. Exactly. You, and you I don't allow that yourself. shit on the you podcast. Don't, you don't need equipment necessarily to talk shit I about I mean, people, people. want to look cool talking shit. <laughs> and that goes with my advice I'm going to give this and I'm going to leave it alone Stay within your means Yeah You don't have to buy podcast equipment just to talk about somebody um, <laughs> You don't have to purchase a ring light You don't have to do the extra shit You don't have Facts. to uh, go get your face beat Facts. To talk about somebody Nor go get an outfit that's way beyond your means Knowing you didn't pay your light bill But you want these shoes on your feet So you can look cool on camera Let's make it make sense. Like, there's a lot of people out here really just doing the most for the least. There's a lot of, like, phony, <laughs> like, phony people. Like, one thing for sure about podcasting is, like, I get to see, like, a census of people. Like, I, people think that a lot of the guests I've had on are people I fucking have known for my whole life. There are some people who are like that, where it's like, hey, we have this kind of like rapport, so come on the pod. I've been knowing you since we were in high school, but there's also the people like you who I literally met for the first time on the episode. Yep. I haven't come across any crazy people yet, guys. Like, 
that's why there's a camera in here. Like, I need everything documented. And that's where judging, judgment of character comes into play because, of course, you have to screen people before you be like, oh, well, you know, uh, you can come to my house. Yeah, I don't. I, I do you that. You definitely have to screen people. I, I do that for sure. Like we're gonna get on a video chat and we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna chop it up. I'm, a, I'm It's not gonna be in depth. I don't need to know about your life like that. But if you can hold a sentence, if you don't sound like you want to kill me, like cool, we can do it. But a lot of people don't want to do that work. A lot of people just want to be like, show up. We'll just record and we'll do whatever. I'm like, that doesn't make for a good episode because you don't get to just meet the person, whether it's virtually or not. Like. I want to meet the person before they come on the pod. And that's a lot of work that goes into it. Like a like, lot. <laughs> like to be real, I feel like something like, like mutual has to be in place in order for us to be like, you know, I know you were saying that like, last time, you know what I'm saying? Like, come, mm -hmm. like coming together, like something has to be mutual, like in order for a conversation to brew. That's yeah. just me. Yeah. Like I mean, it does. There has to be some kind of connection at some point. Some but kind of connection. I've, I've, but I've had people on the podcast who, uh, uh, like it's not it. Like never again. I'm never putting myself through that conversation that I got to hold for the whole time by myself ever again. Like, why that did you want to come on here if you knew you wasn't going to say a word? <laughs> yeah, that's like that's like that's like running the the nails through the chalkboard right there. Just yeah, screeching. I'm over here pivoting, pivoting and shit, trying to figure out what to say next. Like, oh no, what next time? Like, is it was it was work, and we got through 45 minutes, so that's a that's a very high accomplishment on the podcast life for me at least. Uh, but even speaking about giving people advice, uh, what was there was some meme. I don't know if it was meme. I don't think we can call everything memes. I don't think that's fair, but um, what did it say? It was like, it was basically just saying like champion people who inspire you instead of sitting here and taking their ideals and be thinking your competition now. I think that's what it was. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> <laughs> hey. Cut. No, I'm just playing. Uh, <laughs> I think, um, I think, I'm trying to think exactly what it said, but it basically was saying, like, stop trying to take inspiration from people to become their competition. Yes. Like, yes. If, if I give you advice. There's a lot of it, like, out here. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. Like, everybody does not have to be in, com in competition with everybody. Everybody could, like, just be in one melting pot. Like, you could be good in one area. I could be good in one area, even though we like this right here. Something special can come out of it both. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, oh man, it's it's too much of that out here. No, too for too much. It it is a lot. I, I think I made a post the other day. It was basically saying like Houston has people who collaborate with each other, right? Mm -hmm. That's where the city's up in that sense for like creatives and things like that. Here in Austin, it's like I do nails. Oh, I do nails better than her. I do hair. No, my I do hair better than her. I'm a podcaster. My podcast is better than his. I'm this. I'm a cook. I'm a chef. My shit is better than that. Instead of just saying, like, why don't we all just kick it with each other and make some fucking magic? You bring your fans. You that. bring, I bring my fans, and we have a big-ass fucking event, and let's do it. Yeah, because a bag. <laughs> We're all trying to get to the bag. That's the goal. Let's fucking work together. And that's that That just kind of concludes the Well, people the don't point. have those work ethic skills. Like, they don't want to work together. They just want to be on some selfish shit. I don't even think it's selfish. I think it's fear. Like, I think that... Yeah, <laughs> fear fear of the other person outshining them. Yeah. You know? Like, just be in your own lane. It's okay to be in your own lane. If you're if you're weak in this area and the other person is stronger, you know, you make it, you can gravitate together and, you know what I'm saying? Like, exchange some words of encouragement or some tips. But people don't really just know how to take advice. They really don't. And I'm with you on that part. They don't want to take advice. They want instruction. Yeah. And, and this is not school. No, for I'm real. I'm not getting paid to teach you. For real. Like, I have no problem, like, walking people through my setup. I don't hide anything. Like, people who are here, I don't put my phone behind a case and be like, oh, there's a $1,000 camera right there. Like, I let people see everything. Like, I don't really do anything that can't be done by anybody else but it's really the consistent thing that like you got to figure out like if you really want to do it if you want to do certain things you got to be consistent like you have to be and that's the key <laughs> that's the key consistency like if you're going to start something build on it and people don't want to build 
They want the instant. They, they, want, they the want the end instant, result. The, the, it, what they, it was somebody that called us like the microwave generation. You know? I don't know what generation they're talking about, yo. I played outside as a child. I did, too. <laughs> like, I, I was outside too. as a child. Like, I remember fucking MapQuest. I remember fucking <laughs> hoping and praying that if that last MySpace message was meet me here, they would meet me there. Like, yeah, for real. I remember <laughs> traveling miles on a bicycle to get to a place or a park, and hopefully that person showed up. Yeah, we, I don't. I don't know. I think a lot of like. I don't think we're in that generation, honestly. No, I, like, don't, I don't think we are. <laughs> I don't think we are. Like we're the last of the real ones. We got the privilege of being involved in both of the shits. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, most definitely, most definitely. Um, I mean, like when I get old, I can actually tell my child, like, "Hey, I remember when this, but yeah, you know, this was invented." Though. I'm like, God damn you old, but <laughs> I mean, that'll be the conversation one day. What was the post? It was some post, like, <laughs> uh, I don't know who posted it, but they were like, I told my child I'm older, I'm older than Google, and they thought I was lying. Damn. Google came in in like 1990 something, like late 90s. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we're older than Google. <laughs> Dude, like, I had just saw, like, like, okay, my classmate, some of their kids graduated high school, and that shit made me feel so old. Oh, yeah, I see. I was like, what? Y'all like, was by the way, like I'm that? 34 years old. <laughs> that shit made me feel like a, like a, like a ancient dinosaur. I'm like, damn, I remember when they was like toddlers, babies, mm-hmm. and they're graduating high school, going to college. Yeah. That's, that's, I've seen a lot of throughout the graduation time, like in May and stuff like that. And then early June, like seeing these fucking people that like were pregnant when they were like 16, 15 yeah, years old. And they kids are <laughs> grown out as there, hell. Dude. I'm like, damn. <laughs> I only got one rule when dating a woman. If they have a child that's like a teenager, then this nigga cannot be taller than me. Like, <laughs> we, we're not about to do that. <laughs> and we're not playing one on one. We're not doing that. He has a clear advantage. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. I've been in situations where the nigga was up, and I'm like, damn, <laughs> who'd you and fuck? You, and you're, pretty, <laughs> and you're, pretty, you're fucking and you're NBA player. Why is this nigga 6'6"? Yeah, you're pretty tall. And I'm like, damn, if they taller than you, like. Why is he 6'6"? Like, who, did you fuck LeBron? Like, what, 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 what the fuck's going on? Yeah. The only rule. Only rule. <laughs> I don't have a damn rule. I'm just here, like Marshawn Lynch. <laughs> Yikes. I'm just here. Who'd you say yikes? Hmm? You say yikes? Yeah. Hey man. It's 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 a struggle out here. And I'm harmless. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> for the people for the ones who don't know that is an inside thing. <laughs> it's actually it's hilarious, but it's an inside thing. I just feel so grateful to be relevant Dude, in like people's minds. You was trending. I'm trending. You you were really trendy. <laughs> and we're going to leave it right there. <laughs> That's a tough out. This is the first episode in a week, right? Like I I get I I see the messages, I just don't respond. Like I it's been a week, literally a week. The last episode was recorded and put up like 6 7 days ago. Like mm-hmm. I know I went on a little run, but I'm slowing the fuck down. Life is happening, kicking my ass. It's it's okay. Life is life <laughs> over here. When I say life is life in right now, and I'm in a point, like, I just want to be to myself because I have too much going on. Like, I need to, like, unplug myself from the world and just deal with what's going on in my household. Yeah. I call it the hermit crab mode. A lot of people don't understand it. A lot of people feel, a lot of my friends, they feel like, oh, man, you're being weird to me or you're not talking to me. Like, bro, like, what's wrong with being quiet, dude? Like. What's wrong with that? She said bro and dude in the same sentence. Different definitions. (laughs) Different definitions, dude. Like, hey, some people can identify with dude. Some people can identify with bro. Like, hey, man. But, yeah, I I had to unplug myself from the world because just trying to lock down this job, 
Oh, it was so stressful. Like, trying to get on at the hospital was stressful as hell. Yeah. Damn. Like, I said to myself, bro, I am going to, even if I don't like this job, I will stick with force it. myself. Like, because of the process that I had to go through just to lock it down. Jeez. But it got hella good benefits, so I'm going to stick with it. Yeah, I don't think And I got a pretty good schedule now. Like, mornings. The last time y'all seen me, my schedule was <laughs> jacked up. But, hey, I had to make it work because yeah. life be lifing. It life does not stop. At all. So I had to take my lemons and make some, some good-ass margaritas. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I had to. No, had it's to tough. tough it it's tough. I think people think, like, things just magically happen. Because I think, like a, lot of, like, a lot of celebrities have been, like, not been, but like they make money seem so irrelevant because they're receiving a lot of it. And like, we're actually able to see them feel that. I don't know how to fucking explain this, but a lot of celebrities, a lot of people are just talking numbers. Right. And the everyday people are like, Oh, 10 K ain't nothing. 10 K is one fourth of your fucking salary, bro. Yes. Like for the year, yes. not, not even for the weekend. Like, People start to are starting to devalue money like mm -hmm. at a weird rate, and I just don't understand. I don't get it because it, it it becomes that conversation of relationships like the fifty fifty stupid shit, like the other stupid shit. Like I'm just like. And by the way, that rule <laughs> is not even existing. Not in my world, it's not. Like fifty fifty, I don't think I've ever fifty fifty anything. Like like if, if I have in a relationship, it maybe rent, maybe like. I don't even know why that's a conversation and why that's so like a hot topic. Like why we just can't come together. <laughs> why can't we just help just each other get it. better? <laughs> why does it have to be stipulations? Why does it have to be a percentage, a ratio? Why? That's what makes us argue. We really could talk about the people who are 70, 30 with the state if we really want to talk about it, but we, mm, we, we can't. That's too deep. It's too deep. I want, too I want deep. $8 rent. I want, I did, man. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I saw a post. I saw a post that was like, okay, what you're getting a bi weekly check, uh, and you can just go down the street. Okay, boom, you're paying rent. Your rent is like $1,100, $1,200. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you're there after you pay your rent. This person is paying zero or maybe five, and they on a trip to Bora Bora right now, living it up. Yeah, I can. I hate. I don't hate, but like I have a little hate. Like when I do. people, when people, <laughs> when people be like mad traveling but live with their parents. Like I get it. I get it. That's that's fair, right? Like I don't want to live with my parents because we would fucking tear each other's heads off. Like it would not be a fun time for me to live with my parents. Not at I'm all. outside. I want to come in. I will come in all times and nights. I'm I'm too grown to go back and live <laughs> with my parents. Now, if I was in a situation in a financial bind where I had to, I would not be there long. I don't think I would even go back with that. I think I, I probably fucking, wouldn't either. I'd probably go, me, to, I wouldn't go get me a, a storage bin or some shit. Man, I was... Uh, man. <laughs> well, the one was the AC? I might go get me a storage <laughs> bin for 120 a month. Dude, like, I would, I would literally Store me. Live, like, live the struggle until I got on my yeah. feet. I refuse to go back home. I, I and wouldn't. I, I couldn't. Not saying, not saying that, like, my life at home was hella bad. It's just I have been on my own for so long and done my own thing. I don't want to feel like I have a stipulation of rules attached to just moving back home and just trying to stack up for a little while. Yeah, you're not about to make me feel less than. And, yeah. I know, I, and my parents wouldn't do this purposely. But they would do it on accident. Like they would. Why do black people do that? It's like, <laughs> like, like, like black families do that. Yeah. Ah, man, if you would have saved your money, you wouldn't be moving your ass back. Like, damn, are you mad? Because I had to move back in your house and you have to change up your rules. What you mad? Because you can't walk around naked in your house and I'm over here. <laughs> Open I, your um, refrigerator. Like any little thing was getting on their nerves. Oh, cut my light off. My last straw. It's six o'clock. I was my parents making life. me pay rent? Oh yeah, that was mine. That, that, that was my absolute out. last straw. Like they called. Like I, I vividly remember this part, and I think I was maybe like nineteen at the time when I finally left. Left, and what the fuck? It doesn't matter. But um, I think I was like nineteen when I finally like left. Left, and they were making me pay the light bill. They were making me pay this. I'm like. Yeah, y'all know I work at this fucking. You know I look, work at fucking Loopies, yo. <laughs> How much money you think I'm pulling in at Loopies? 
<laughs> I'm so serious. Damn. She was like, hey, first of the month, you paying this $150. If you want to pay a utility attached to that, you can pick any any of the three. Uh, if you want to contribute, oh, you got the pick to, your bill. <laughs> if you want to, if you want to uh, contribute on the grocery bills, okay, do that. I'm like, okay, but I knew for a fact my mama didn't play that. If you didn't have your, if if you didn't have what she told you to pay, you might as well find somewhere else to live. I think like when I was about 21, 22, that's when I got out. I got. I out. left and came back. And felt bad about coming back because, like, I did the dumbest thing ever is move in with a girl. Like, we moved in together mutually. Like, same name, both names on the lease or whatever. Shit was terrible. That shit was over. We signed a 12-month lease. Our relationship was over in, like, three months. <laughs> yeah, like. Shout out to Gab, man. We'll get you on the pod eventually. <laughs> we'll have a whole conversation about how that went down. Yeah, but. man. I yeah, I didn't I didn't live with nobody. I just found me something that I could afford and I stuck with it. You know what's funny? Like I had a two so my mindset at that time, being that young, being nineteen or twenty years old, was to get a two bedroom apartment. So like if shit was weird with us, like go in the second room, bitch. Like well, go that on. was smart. But it was dumb at the same time because, like, we both moved our shits into the respectable room. So, like, I had my whole room set up, and she had her own room, home, her own room set up. But, like, we were mad passive-aggressive. Like, we were just, like, fucking other people in those respectable rooms <laughs> until she left. And I left the apartment because I couldn't afford it at the time. That apartment was $700 then for a two-bedroom apartment. That was hella good <laughs> back then. Back to seven hundred dollars. I, I bet now it's probably like what sixteen. I this Maybe. this is a one bedroom apartment. This is fourteen. Like twice as much. Like, and I don't even know if the space was different. Maybe this this space might be bigger than that apartment. To be honest with you, mm. it's crazy. It was bringing people home. Huh. Huh? What'd you say? You was bringing people home. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. We even crossed paths a couple times. I think I was eating a sandwich one time. She walked in with a nigga, and I was like, what's up, dude? What up, guy? Ooh, <laughs> he he fell not. away. He was like, I don't want no 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 beef. I'm like, ain't no beef, bro. Go beef. Go do what you oh, do. Oh, see, that, that, that <laughs> would definitely listen. <laughs> Go handle business, bro. I'm on my lunch break. I'm eating a sandwich. Go handle that. That dude. would never <laughs> happen over here, ever. I'm harmless. Man. Now I've had <laughs> I've had a nigga <laughs> pop up at my place when I was entertaining somebody else. Oh, that's that, more that's way more dangerous. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> that's dangerous as fuck. Man, man, I really had to defuse that situation. She texted me, it was like we're on our way, and I was like, bet. <laughs> like, oh, so, y'all just didn't give a fuck no more. At all. <laughs> no. Nah, y'all just didn't care. At all. Like it was like we never talked about it or said it, but it was like, oh, you know, this is my night. Like, you now, know. See, I didn't care. I didn't care what I was doing because that was my crib. We wasn't sharing. Oh, okay. Like, that was exclusively my crib. Like, and I'm just, I was just at the mindset was like, uh, well, you should have called first before popping up at my house. Like, yeah, don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. It's not a good look. At all. That makes you look crazy. Crazier. Oh, man, I left my debit card over here. No, you didn't. I'll slide it through the door. I've had to change my my lock on a person before. I have too. I have too. And that's uh that that really like made me stop giving out keys to yeah that's to significant that's tough. others. Someone got my keys right now. It's tough. Yeah, I I, I don't <laughs> I don't do that crap. Like if your name is not on the lease, you do not have a key. Yeah. Point blank. Shout out to C or Sierra because like. I remember I came home, and I've said I've told this story before, so it's not anything new. I think I might have said this like the week it happened or the week after it happened, but like uh, I was dealing with a person, we weren't working out. I work Monday. She knew she knew my work schedule, right? So she went in the place. She took the most inconvenient shit that you could possibly take on a work day. So think about the things you need when you get home on a work day, off of, off of a work day. Like, you want to probably take a shower. You might want to cook something, throw it in the trash. 
She took the shower curtain. She took the trash can. Petty. <laughs> And, and on top of that, she took the trash can and dumped the trash out onto the floor. <laughs> Shout out to you. We got to get you on the podcast too, lady. That girl wanted that smoke. I, I, That's what I, it sounds like <laughs> to me. Like you dumping trash <laughs> on my floor. Yeah, it was, it was, it was a lot. But I, I did, again, I, the second that happened, I walked in. I called Sierra. She knows. And she was like, get me. Change the fucking lock now. <laughs> and I was like, bet. Next day, lock changed. Last time I ever spoke to that person. Dump trash on your garbage. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Like, what if you had some wet in your garbage? Oh, that would piss me <laughs> off. Like, get you go. I cooked your fish. <laughs> we'll have some fish or some. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> like, bitch, you done knocked. Some, some shit on my floor. <laughs> and you took the shower curtain. Yeah, that was tough. Like, didn't even leave the liner. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't shower. I mean, I showered. Honestly, I did shower. Yeah. It was like a, it was like a, you know how like cars don't have tent? Uh-huh. That's how Fish I felt. Bowl. That's how I felt taking a shower <laughs> that night. <laughs> That's bad. That is so bad. Ain't nobody looking at me, but I feel it. <laughs> That's bad. That's like yeah. on some movie in type shit. Like you don't feel like putting a shower curtain up, but you gotta take a yeah. shower. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's petty. That's super petty. I don't think I ever gotten petty like that with anybody. <laughs> I don't think I have. I don't think it was petty. I think it was pure frustration. <laughs> I don't even think it was like <laughs> I don't know, man. It's it's that sound petty to me. Yeah. That sound petty. Shout out to that person. I I hope one day we can get you on the podcast with um security. With security in the building for sure. Yeah, y'all gonna need security if y'all gonna talk about that. <laughs> you most definitely need security. You need some reinforcement up in here. Have you ever like been in a relationship? I I don't even I feel like I've asked this before to you, but maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't even go in that direction. What else you wanna talk about? How do you feel about um uh, uh, AI taking over. Ooh, that's a fire conversation. Um, we're all doomed. Mm -hmm. um, it's not going to be a good look for our grandchildren who are not going to be AI because they're not going to allow children to be born. They're going to put them in the internet somehow. I don't know. Yeah, because um, <laughs> I was I was at Sam's. I, man, Shout out to Sam's, man. For real. Them pineapples, though. Them, man, you got to try those pineapples. They are so good. I've never had their pineapples before. You need to try it. My dad um has some pineapples growing right now. So hopefully I'll get a fresh one. Okay. <laughs> I I heard they're really not hard to grow. Do you know pineapples grow out of the ground and not the trees? Yeah. Yeah. A lot no, of people don't, people know, don't know that. Know that. Yeah, my, a lot of people don't know that. Cuz I like, I was born in Hawaii, so my parents were like in Hawaii for a while when I in my youth, right? Like you think pineapple tree, you think pineapples come from trees, but they're from the ground. Yeah. So my dad has a um, a garden, like a big old fucking garden in the backyard, in the middle of the fucking suburbs. Like, if you would never know that garden was in the suburbs if you didn't go in the backyard. I saw over the fence. So he has, like, tons of fucking vegetables, fruits, and shit like that. Like, I think at this point, like, I think it's like 20-something different things. He showed me a, a couple of different things, and, like, some things I could recognize right off the back. Pineapple is one of them. So mm. he has a whole fucking shit. That's what's up. Like they cook their they 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 grow their own collard greens. They they do their own vegetables. They they do all that kind of shit in the suburbs. That's why that, when I say in the suburbs, I mean it is in the most suburb place you will ever see in your whole life. Like ever. Like you literally will not know that shit is going on like that until you go there and see it. But pineapples, yeah. Yeah. What I was about to say, Sam's. Sam's. Okay, I've been going to Sam's maybe three days in a row, and I have noticed like it's a machine there, like that literally counts the inventory. Oh yeah. Yeah, like it's just it's it looks like a forklift, but it's not. I don't know the proper name for it, but it literally like stops when it sees people coming. Um. And I'm like, what? So I'm like, I was kind of messing with it. Like, oh, man, let me just purposely get in his <laughs> way. Stay in his way. Like, and Stop. it did not move. 
You haven't been to one of those restaurants that have the robot servers? I've seen it. i never been. Yeah, so the first time I ever personally saw it was, I think, in Plano. And they have them here now, but, like, they may have had them here then. But, like, the first time I personally saw it, I was in Plano maybe a year and a half ago. And we went to this Mexican restaurant. And packed to the fucking brim. I mean, like, it's packed as you can see a fucking restaurant. This robot is navigating plates, going around every single fucking body, getting to the fucking table. And the right table, too. And dropping their food off. You throw, you put your uh, old plates on it, and then it takes that shit. Goes over and it speaks. Like, excuse me, excuse me, excuse oh, me, hell excuse no. me, see, excuse see. me. Something's in my way, and there'd be someone just standing there. Excuse me, and he would like say, "Excuse me, excuse me," and then go back to the kitchen. They send them right back out, and then like go across tons of fucking people, get to the right table, drop their food off, like and do they're it. Again. Elimin- they're going to be eliminated. So many jobs. Right so now, jobs. right now, there's there's uh, what's is it? It's Taco Bell or McDonald's. There's a location i don't know if this is something that's in texas or if it's something that just exists that like there's no man person at all Mm -hmm. like you drive through the shit you order your shit it's all machine broken down and then you get your bag of food and just drive off Uh -uh. (laughs) uh-uh Because you see, you see the little fucking little kiosk things they have at McDonald's. Yep, like, at McDonald's. You go in there, you type in your shit, you get yep. your shit. But they have a whole fucking structure where you literally just drive through. Hey, I want a number one. Cool. Pay. Cool. Drop your bag. Machine. No, not a single not person good. works in the building. Like Walmart. Walmart is just literally self-checkout now. Mm-hmm. Except for maybe one one lane. You know, one thing I don't understand, because I went to Walmart for the first time in a long time the other day. Like, on the screen, when you check out, it says, what do you want, an e-receipt or a physical receipt? What if I get an e-receipt? Why is it still homeboy or homegirl at the at the door saying, where's your receipt? You want to pull up my phone? <laughs> yeah, they want to scan a QR code. Wow, well, oh, screenshot Sam, some shit Sam's from 2000. Like Sam's is like that. They have to scan and go. Like, yeah, I, I, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I use it all the time. It's convenient. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it is, it's, I think AI is dangerous in the sense of, like, we have it. Like, uh-huh. I think this shit should be available to, like, government officials and the police. Like, I yep. don't know if everybody should have the ability to do it. Because a lot of conversations, because I think it can mimic conversations or something like that. Like, it can yep. take just, like, voices and whatever and have a whole conversation. Like, imagine if, like, the scenario we talked about offline was AI. <laughs> but you blow up because you think it's real, but it's AI. And then that make me just feel stupid as a person. <laughs> now, I'll, I'll, you know what? I'll just check myself out. I'll check out a life. Like I, I'm done. I so, can't keep up. So if it can happen at that like granular like portion of life, like what if the fucking leader from North Korea and the fucking leader from Russia? have a conversation it's ai but it's, it's gonna happen <laughs> it's gonna happen eventually and it, because it's so assex- accessible to like us as like regular people like come on now what, there was a story uh that like i think it was like some ai message about wanting like a, like a holding a daughter ransom mm-hmm. and the mother is hearing the 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 actual like AI talk or whatever. It's like, I have your daughter and like her voice is in the background and the mom is like freaking the fuck out. Like it was a joke ultimately, but like the mother's freaking out. Like they're basically saying like a kidnapper is taking your child. We need whatever amount of money, this, this and this. And she's like, I don't have it. And the AI is, is responding to her technically in real time, but it's not a response. It's like a, Mm-hmm. track or whatever and mother goes fucking crazy see that's not that's not cool <laughs> you know what i mean that's but it was a trick cool. it was a trick on the mother by like the kids like you it, said the kids yeah and the kids would have got their ass kicked <laughs> don't don't play with my mental like that it's too much in the world going on for me to focus think about and that. just get through think and about I that have ai playing with me saying Oh, Think about that. You know what I'm saying? Think about that. Like, if the kids already are good at it, like, it's going to be a tough out a couple be years. kicking ass. Kicking ass. 
it's a weird dynamic. I just don't I don't know if it should be here or shouldn't be. I don't I don't know what what the future holds because I know they have those um those glasses that are coming out. You got these the, new uh, virtual reality. Yeah, like the super ones though, like where like your whole display you see your eyes through it, but mm-hmm. like the display that you see is like emails, social media, and stuff like that. It's a lot going on. Yeah, like the hospital where I work, they're literally investing in that Mm -hmm. like to deal with pain management like so like because they're they're really trying to cut down people taking prescriptions all the time or just staying in the hospital saying oh i'm hurting i fell out the bed i need to stay longer oh no we're gonna invest in these little virtual reality glasses you're gonna wear them and take your mind off of this pain and you know because it's all mental i guess that's what that's the study that they have, I feel like it's not. But I mean, know. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what it really would look like. But I, I want to be here to see it. <laughs> I want to be here to see it. But I'm gonna be like, that old ass person. Live it? No, I'm gonna be that old ass person. Like I'm already old against like younger people. Like uh, let a 24 year old come talk to me about some shit. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm old. I'm get off your lawn, old. <laughs> Mentally. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I really don't know. I don't know what that looks like for like the future generations. And of course, like we we can always say this shit's gonna happen because like cell phones was like a dangerous shit. Like having cell having a flip phone in two thousand and one was like wow. Like that was like the, the That was the thing. That was the that technology was that was like was supposed to shift and end all jobs. You know what <laughs> I mean? <laughs> Getting the fucking the the first iPhone, the the old computers that had like the background that like the I guess the back of the computer was like colorful and shit like that. Yeah, that was revolutionary. Yep. So it's just kind of it's the same shit. I think that people will adjust appropriately, but uh, I there was one point, and I think someone brought up, I don't know who, I don't I don't quote people, but like someone had brought it up like when they go to restaurants, it's so much quieter. The kids just stuck on the eye, like the the pad or whatever. <laughs> yeah, and, and I, don't, like I feel, I feel like that's not a good thing. I mean, because it's like now that your kid is crying, you want to constantly shove a, a tablet in their face, you know, and then you wondering why they're not going outside. They don't even know what outside looks like. They don't even know what the green box looks like outside. You remember the green box? Shout out to the green box in outside. the neighborhood. <laughs> Everybody be posted up like they don't know what that looks like. They don't know. They stuck on the Xbox or the PlayStation all day. In hindsight, we probably shouldn't have been sitting on the green box. That's true. <laughs> that's that's probably why some of our generation is crazy as hell now. Because we're sitting on the, the green, green box. box. <laughs> <laughs> I think every hood had a green box. I mean, everyone has a green box because it's a, uh electrical like, staple. <laughs> like, you need one. <laughs> But I, I I had one in front of my house, I think. Did I? Yeah, it was like right in front of the house. Man, those were the days. I just wonder, like, because, like, I met my nephew for the first time a couple of weeks ago. And, like, I just wonder what his life's going to be when he gets older. Like, I just want to, I want to know. Like, I want to see it. I most definitely want to know what my son's <laughs> life is going to be like. <laughs> I want to know because, like, when my mom and I, okay, my mom, she was 35 when she had me. So, I can just imagine, like, her train of thought raising me. Mm-hmm. Versus I, your own. Yeah. 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 Mine Things is going to go be a little like, different. Oh, my mind is going to be blown. Like, oh, man, y'all got this going on. I'm like, oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I'm down with it if it helps people. Like, I'm okay with AI. Like, I think that. Because I think they're, they're tr- I don't know if this is true. I've just heard it from like the internet or whatever, which is the most truthful place ever, guys. Um, I've heard that like they're going to, they're transitioning into like chips in the people. So like mm-hmm, the chips that, that like recognize problems early. So like if you got high blood pressure, like the chip is going to notify you the second this becomes in play. Now the chip thing, that's going to come into play off, off, off top. Like, if you look at your debit card, they introduced that back in 2016, I believe. Because of Target. Yeah. They're going to keep track of everything. 
They already got track of you. Like if you have an iPhone or an Android, you be wondering why all these ads. Like, damn, man, I was just thinking about that. Listen, the and job I work at phone? sends me emails to my personal email because I say the word so many times. Oh man. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh-uh. Yeah, like that's that's automatic off top. Like Whole Foods. Shout out to Whole Foods, man. It's just as expensive as it's expensive. It's just as expensive as Whole Foods was back in the day as H E B is now. Yeah. It costs a fucking lot to like I remember like I was like I anytime I feel bad, I just want a struggle meal. So like I always make spaghetti, just like the old way, like canned sauce, ground beef, spaghetti. I don't always make pasta with fresh sauces and fresh pasta. Like, I'm human, guys. I'm not rich, but I did that the other night, and that shit was twelve fifty. Like what? Scratch made? No, with fucking just canned sauce. Yeah. Fucking yeah, pasta yeah. and ground ground beef, six seven dollars. Uh huh. I was like, what the fuck is happening? I bought some fuck ass chicken wings. I'm gonna talk about you, H E B. Some baby little chicken wings. I forgot how much I paid for it, but I was so pissed like, when I actually took it out the pack and I looked at it. I'm like, dude, I. It is costing so much it's money. Too like, much. I remember, like, it's, I've been cooking it's costing for too much to survive. Exactly. I've been cooking for so fucking long. Like, I remember. That you can go to a specific restaurant, or not restaurant, uh, grocery store. You can get a whole lobster, like a whole, not, and I don't mean old, like, fish tank fucking lobsters that were around Walmart and shit. Like, that's, I'm not that old, yo. But, like, <laughs> you can go get a fucking whole lobster for $12 a pound. Lobsters, typically, like, if you're going to get, like, a okay size one, like, usually, like, maybe three to five pounds, like a whole one. If you're going to get like a baby one, not just a fucking lobster tail, which is still weird to me, but them shits were like $35, right? A whole lobster right fucking now is $100. <laughs> and the small ones, like it's not even a, they even have like, I, I don't know. It's like cooking's weird for me now. Like I, it doesn't even make sense for me to do it as much as I used to. Like, nah, if I cook, for one, I'm going all the fuck out. Yep. For two, I'm not doing this shit again for three weeks. For real. <laughs> Y'all better eat the damn sandwich. <laughs> it is so much cheaper to fucking <laughs> just buy, like, order out. It used to be the reverse. like. Yeah, like, I, I eat out a lot. Me too. I eat out a lot. Ain't shit like, in my fridge but some bread and... <laughs> hey, listen. I used to be the type, like, oh, man, we need to go to the grocery store. Not anymore, because yeah. I'm going to end up eating out anyway. It's I'm going to be too tired to cook. Mm-hmm. Or if I'm not too tired, I really just can't focus on what I want to eat. Yeah, because I feel I, like I eat the same thing all the time. Yeah, I can't even like trying to figure out what I want to eat is tough for anybody, especially me. Like I don't know what I want. I don't yep, know. I, don't know <laughs> I have what no I want. idea. <laughs> and a lot of times I resort to pizza. Man, I'm going to Domino's tonight. Honestly, <laughs> I'm getting Domino's. Uh, six ninety nine. I'm getting me some pizza and some pasta. That's that's my that's my idea right fucking now. It's right up the fucking street. Um, so, so shout out Robin, love me some Robin. She brought me lunch, and she was like, "What do you want?" And I was like, "If I say what I really really want, it's gonna be too complicated." So I was like, "Just just get whatever." And she brought torchies, and I'm not against torchies. I love torchies, but like. That shit, I'm not young. I can't eat torches like that no more. My stomach was hurting and shit. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that fried chicken. Like, I used to be able to knock down three torches tacos and be like, yeah, what's next? Like, I ate two. I ate one and two thirds of the other one. I was like, damn, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm your, out. Your system changing? <laughs> I'm out. Your system changing? <laughs> I'm I know, proud. like, every six years, your, your body, it does, like, go through, a, like, a metamorphosis. Man, like, this okay. shit hit when I turned 30, bro. <laughs> like That's when it happened, Calvin. <laughs> when you hit your 30s, your knees going to crack. Your back is going to ache. You're going to feel like unexplainable pains just out of nowhere. I don't know why. I think like being on the third floor is a young, a young person's game for sure. Yep. <laughs> it's it not is. working for me. I'll be on a mission to get bottle bottles of water up here. Like I'll 
Motherfucking get a backpack. <laughs> okay. Let me get a little container. I'll de break down the water. <laughs> Be tired as hell walking up these steps. I bet. <laughs> Dang. A whole case of water up these flight of steps? Man, you tripping. That's that's a tough out. That's why I paid fucking movers to move this couch. This shit's metal as hell. This shit's I don't heavy. blame you. I always pay for movers anytime I move. This was the first time I, I was just like, I don't want to even deal with it. It's Y'all so convenient. It yeah, for it's sure. It's so convenient. Just have all your, like you already go through the stress of packing Boxing, your own yep. shit up. I don't want to have to move it and then hassle people like, hey, you going to help yeah. me move? Knowing yeah. damn well they're not going to show up or they're going to show up hella late. Or they're going to leave when and the job is halfway done. Like, no, I'd just rather pay somebody. Yeah. I don't even think I did it right either. Because, like, I only had them move big shit. Like, I did all the boxes and shit myself. No, y'all moving everything. <laughs> if I'm paying you, your max is two hours. So that was my thing because, like, yeah, my uh, old yeah. apartment's not far from here. But, like, it'll, it'll take you, like, 10, 15 minutes or whatever to get from there down the stairs. Because I've come from a two-bedroom, not two-bedroom, a uh, two-story Get down there, get the shit in there, drive over here. 15 minutes is already up. And then getting the fucking shit up. This is a heavy-ass couch. Like, it's heavy as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's heavy. Like, I I don't even lift it up to move it sometimes. I, like, I try to like, mm, move it. Like, it's heavy. And I knew it was going to take some time. Especially get this shit up three flights of stairs. <laughs> was, I started giving these niggas water. I was like, y'all all right? <laughs> That's tough. Yeah, man, I don't I don't pay for movers at all. <laughs> I don't care if I do have a group of people. Like, I know y'all sorry as hell. Y'all going to bail out on me. Oh, man, I'm tired. All this stuff heavy. Like, no, I'm just going to rent my truck, and it's going to say, oh, do you need help? Yes, I do. <laughs> I will put, like, me pay. And two hours is their max. Like, if I need a little bit more time, mm -hmm. normally I try to get the black movers. <laughs> Shout out to Apache. Y'all were fire. Those guys were fire. Yeah, normally I try to get them like, hey, man, like I need me another hour, you know. Oh, man, go ahead. Like the last movies I had, they were so cool. The thing is, like with the lot, the, the first time guys, like he he basically said right then and he was like, damn, I wish I would have met you at a gas station, bro. I would not have charged you this shit. <laughs> I was like, fuck, why did you just say that to me? <laughs> 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 you could have kept that to your fucking self till after. Because if I need a recommendation, I'm going right to you directly. Like, directly to you. Fuck all that Apache. Got to go through the fucking uh, booking shit. Like, he was like, damn, if I would have met you through a gas station, bro, it would have been a third of this. I was like, fuck, I just lost my job. Thanks, bro. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Cold world. Got to have your connections in check. Yeah. I never had movers before. Like, I was the mover for free. For the free free. But see, once you start to get older, yeah, your body not... is like, hey, man, don't put me through this torture <laughs> trying to move all this big ass shit. <laughs> no, for real. No, like, for if real. you have the funds or if you don't have it, you can re-up later. Yeah, you got to you gotta go in the red for a little bit. Come yeah. back up. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> Let's Ooh. see, what do I want to talk about? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just freestyling. Like I saw a lot of people talk about, uh, oh yeah, the recent news, like Tina Turner, she passed. Rest in peace. I really didn't know she had passed for real until I started just scrolling and seeing everything. I listen to a lot of like extra podcasts, so like they, everything that hip hop news or music news says, they just touch on it. Like yeah. a, a lot of stuff is scripted, so I heard about it. Like I, I, I don't think I was listening to Tina Turner like that. And, I and, didn't either. I and, just <laughs> know about the movie. You know, like what's love got to do with it? Yeah. Or like that's you the know, only really most like, of her major yeah. hits. But like as far yeah. as, I mean, I understand what she contributed to music. Mm -hmm. You know, or like even in her personal life, but. That's about it. I think something came up. I don't know if this is true. I'm sorry if you guys are a Tina Turner fan and just think I'm lying. I don't know. This is something I heard. So I, apparently, like, she, her, I, I guess her ex or 
a relevant husband gave up his kidney for her and he she did. extended her life a couple of like seven, eight years yeah, because of it. So would you give I'm just like, I don't care. <laughs> we don't have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to do that, would you? Uh <laughs> Okay, because I, I already know what you're going to ask. <laughs> if if I was put in that situation, like, they would definitely have to be my husband in order for me to be like, I'm going to give you my kidney. Mm. Yeah, we, we can't, we can't be boyfriend, like girlfriend, girlfriend boyfriend. Because <laughs> like I said in the last podcast, status can change. <laughs> status can change. <laughs> We could be together today and tomorrow. You're like, not giving the kidney up off the strength of the boyfriend girlfriend relationship. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't do it. That's a tough out. It really is a tough <laughs> out. It's a tough out. Yeah. Like, uh, like the the status I saw was like, uh, well, what do you want from your ex? And I was like, I just want my money, money. back. <laughs> <laughs> I think every single ex I've ever had has taught me something that's been valuable for me to like hang on. Like, I think ev- whether it ended right or ended wrong, like I think every single ex I've ever ever had, which is three, allegedly, um, has taught me something. Like, I don't think I'm me. I don't think I'm this version of myself without those kind of. I don't. I don't want to say bullshit moments, but like some of those experiences. Like, I don't think I get to this level of communication without that shit happening. I might be outside like these niggas now on some can't communicate shit if all that stuff doesn't happen. That's with those, true. With those particular exes. Like, I learned a lot. Like, so I always give them credit and I always shout, I always shout out my exes because that's a lie. But like, I always say, if I talk about a situation, come on the pod, let's talk about it. But yeah. For sure, like I think I you don't think I'm like not you're, doing that over here. <laughs> Once I'm done with you, I'm done. I don't think I'm you're done. ever done with somebody because like they, if they were like a real relationship, not you know, yeah, you know, friends would benefits only to them, but like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! Um, no, I just I, I any person I've ever dealt with is has for sure molded me. Do you think like for you personally, like the guys you've dealt with haven't gone through enough to be where you want them to be? Hell no! <laughs> <laughs> Hell no! Uh uh-uh. uh. You know what I mean? Like if you get with a person who's never been through shit and then you're the first person they go through shit with I can only imagine that that's a very stressful environment a naive (laughs) man (laughs) like that's oh man that is so stressful because I'm like damn like you didn't go through nothing nothing you don't know nothing you don't know nothing yeah and that makes me feel like the mom yeah that would make you feel like their parent like you're responsible for them yeah Mm-mm. We're not doing that over here. You what have a- you like you have to have experience life in some shape or form in order to deal with somebody within a relationship. I mean, you don't, but it's always great that that exists. Like, like you can, but like you always don't. I mean, you, like you, you have to have like your own experience. You know, you just can't be just green and not know nothing. There's some men and, it's a and lot. women it's who are a lot. green as hell. Oh. They they fairy tailed up like they had one boyfriend when they were like twenty two, never dated anyone serious. After that, now they're thirty plus and like niggas ain't shit. No, the one nigga you dated wasn't shit. And now you put that stipulation on everybody, and you can't put that stipulation on everybody. I promise you, if a woman tells me some crazy shit and then says I'm like that, I'm gone. Like <laughs> I don't want nothing yeah, to do for with real. you. Like you're not about to put that bad juju. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I'm not that. Uh, uh, you don't know all men. Uh, first of all, every relationship you ever had was in Austin, Texas. Like you've never dated anyone from anywhere else. So how do you know? It's a different breed out here. Like, 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 <laughs> like, <laughs> like with me not being from here, it is a different breed. Oh no, you're a commodity. 
Like any a woman. Oh, oh, who, oh, I know. Woman, <laughs> I know. I got snatched up quick. Like, the oh, second man, you say you're not from here, let me let me go yep. ahead and lock this. I'm like, yep. but it, it's like that everywhere. Cause yeah. if if I stayed at home, it probably would have been the same. It probably would have been the same because that other person don't know your reputation. You know, they don't know like you for real. Mm-hmm. You know, you're like, new here. You you don't you you really just hadn't gotten your feet wet, and you met somebody. Oh, they gonna snatch you up. Quick. Yeah, facts. Yeah. And like it's it, easy for them to live a double life, you know, because you don't. You don't know, know who you don't know who they know, right? You yeah. don't know. Like if you're coming from out of town, guys, like I'm harmless as fuck. Like it is it is it? <laughs> he really <laughs> is. It's ridiculous, guys. Like how ha- unharmful I am. Like I'm so harmless. <laughs> Child S- says some of the most harmful people in the universe. Mm. Cold world. What was that being? The mean? lady. Uh, it was. <laughs> Scratch that. I'm not gonna say that's mean. <laughs> <laughs> we really tried not to be mean this episode. Like I really like because I had some shit to get off my chest. <laughs> I've been wanting to get on here, but the schedules, the schedules wasn't yeah. adding up. I was yeah. supposed to be over here two weeks ago. Facts. But I was like, man, I got to work. I got to work this last night. And I think you were getting off. Yeah. Off I, around six. I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to push it. Yeah. I'm, uh, my schedule's cool. Cause, but it's it's still weird for me because, like, I'm off Fridays and Saturdays, which I've always been off, like, Saturdays and Sundays for, like, the last six years. <laughs> like, I, Coming in, like, actually working on a Sunday while everyone's, like, outside turning up, I'm just like, that's not fair. I mean, I wasn't going to go anyways, but, you know, I, wish, I want the option. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know I could. I'm, I'm I'm just happy that I have my weekends free again because I have been thugging it out for such a long time. And I'm just, I'm just happy to yeah. just have this Monday through Friday. It's been a long time coming. <laughs> You know what's crazy? Like, uh, with my particular job, like, the Monday through Friday schedule is, like, one to nine. No, I can't go back to that life. If Some I do people, one to nine, like, I'm going to be out of there every fucking day. Like, I'm not going to have, it's not going to be a good look for me at all. And some people prefer to be off during the week. And I get it. Like, mm-hmm. you know, like, if you have doctor's appointments. Or, you get it knocked out before you know, one, you're good to go. Or not even that. If you just want to chill and you don't want to be in the hustle and bustle, like, mm-hmm. you know, if you want to go to lunch, nobody is there. Yeah. I, I get that point, if too. If you want to be out in the street, everybody yeah. at work. Yeah, I get that. Because anytime I try, like, a new restaurant or anything like that, like, I prefer to do it on a weekday. Yep. I want to do it when, like, there's nobody there. Like, get on my face. You just don't like people like that for real, do you? I yeah. love people. I just don't like y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be bothered. I don't like certain people. Like, I don't... I love people, first of all. But, like... I, could, I don't know if I want to... I, I'm going to say... Like, people tell me their business all the fucking time. I don't ask for it. I just get it. Like, I get phone calls all the time. I'd be forgetting people have my fucking phone number. Like, when you called, I was like... This is either a bill collector or... Hey, I get that all the time. <laughs> that shit sound that, official as hell. I get that all the time with my number because my number looks like a bill collector number. <laughs> and I have to literally like pre-warn people. I meant to text you before I pulled up. I was like, I was like who no, is Weathers? I'm in, I'm in a, cause I'm in I owe money like, to the weather? <laughs> I said, I'm in the parking lot. Let me just call. <laughs> but yeah, I get that all the time with my number. I'm like, man, it's me. So, like, if I have, if I want to get in communic, like, like communications with anybody, and they don't have my number saved, I have to re, re, re induce, <laughs> introduce myself. <laughs> it's like, hey, like this is. I me. went through I'm a whole thought process. You. I was like, I put two and two together. Like at the last minute, I was like, yo. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> I know, I, <sighs> and I don't have no plans in changing my number. I have too many, too too much important shit leaked to my number. Like, 
it's, it'll just be too much of a hassle. <laughs> so I'm leaving the shit alone. It's not broken, so why fix it? Yes. Like, if I'm tired of a person calling me, I politely block. I will block, block, block until I can't block anymore. I don't have a problem with doing that. <laughs> <laughs> But, like, normally if I tell a person, like, don't call me, like, they would really obey the command. They would not call me. I never told anyone never to call me. I'd just be forgetting i give my number out like that. I saw, <laughs> shout out to Francis. Like, uh, she called me this morning and, because we were, like, talking, because I'd be up at, like, 6 a.m. with the shits all the time. And she had called me. And we talked for, like, 45 minutes. She was telling me about a situation she was dealing with, like, with some friends or whatever. And I was like. How do you, when, when did I give you my number? And then I had to like <laughs> scroll through the message. Like, I did that. I don't be. I don't remember me giving people my number. But it's cool. Call me if you can. <laughs> and if you call me and I answer, we'll have a great conversation. If you don't, figure it out on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, figure it out. Do you figure have anything else? We made it to the hour, man. We're at the figure hour. Figure the shit mark. out. That's the motto for the day. Figure, figure the shit out. out. <laughs> Just figure, figure it the out. shit out don't for yourself. Don't ask me. Don't ask me for no advice. Figure it out. If you ask me for advice, like. I'm still take it to figure it out. <laughs> like, because. Do it first. Try it first. Like, start first. Like, I'm way more willing to help somebody out that started it already. Like, do it. Just do it. Your podcast is not going to look like this. It's never going to look like this unless you move to the same apartment complex as me. And if you get the same goddamn chairs as I did, you're weird. That's weird to me. <laughs> Shout out to the sign in the back. We painted. We did a paint. Me and Robin painted. It was lit. She said I painted more than her. I was lit. I don't remember painting this, but we did it. So I don't know. I don't got nothing else. Yeah, I'm out of topic. <laughs> I'm out of there. This is 89. Like, I, I told you, like, I was being so serious when I said, like, I get nervous. Like, doing this, and I've done this more than 89 times, but, like, I just want to get to 100, man. You will. I just want to get to 100 because it's going to be a fucking party. Like, it's going to be, like, there's some shit that's going to happen that I'm working on right now, which is why I haven't been recording as often in the last six days or whatever. But, like, it's it's going to be, it's going to be a celebration that, you know. It's going to be unlike a lot of other celebrations. It's going to be a fun one. It's not going to be a boat party. It's not going to be what? A boat party. Okay. But like one, maybe. Who knows? I got some stripper friends. Okay, well, <laughs> since you said stripper friends, I will be there. Because <laughs> I do love the strippers. <laughs> I do support the hustle, ladies. For real. All right. This is the Can We Talk podcast, episode 89. <laughs> You guys enjoy the rest of your night, and thank you guys for listening. Yeah.